I've done for around about 18 of these videos now. I think there's actually 19 at this given point. And even now, I still don't know how to start these videos off. I'm gonna build something like this. Pointer. I'm obviously, this is the fireplace. This is the, the, the thing that's gonna sit on there. Obviously with the actual fireplace there, which is that thing sitting there. It's electric one, because it's so much cleaner and easier than pulled up mucking up crap. The TV is gonna sit, not on it, but within it. So there's gonna be a nice hole here for the TV to slide in, and then I'm gonna make it even special, and then put some LED lights in it, because that's the kind of thing that I do. Mrs. doesn't want it, I don't care. My ass, I'll pay the bills. But yeah, it took a fair bit to persuade me for her to actually agree with that. But I mean, we do already have it with this. See, we got it ready. I've actually got this on the base setting, which I'm gonna turn off. Cause I can have it red. I can have it green. I can have it blue. I can have it orange. Yes. All the colours in the world. I'm going to have that within that. Obviously I'm going to do some other bits and pieces. And later on in another video I'm going to do the ceiling. I'm going to do the same thing in the ceiling. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. And you've got to watch that video when I do it. And I keep saying next video I'm going to do that. But, and I don't. But that's just, that's just me. I get bored and I move on rather quickly. But anyway, so the TV is going to be sunk in. I'm going to leave an inch gap around the TV. Because I don't want it sitting right out front. I want it sort of sunk in. I want it sort of, I don't really want it to focus of the actual of the actual room, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually always going to put a mantel piece along, along underneath, because obviously that's what you have with fireplaces. But I hear you say, if you've got a mantel piece there, where are you going to put the shelf for the stereo unit? <gasps> well, the mantel piece will simply open up like so. See there, you see it? Open up, and all the stereo unit and the speaker systems will be inside there. So all you'll see is a TV, fireplace, and a mantel. That opens up, boom, it's all in there. So I'm going to get on with the montage, it's going to take 20 seconds, 30 seconds, it can even take longer than that. I'll try and keep it short as I can, so that's what I'm going to do. So watch to the very end, I don't know, I might do something funny at the end of it, or might not. Anyway, you get to learn something. In case you wonder what that stuff is, that's the material which I'm going to use to construct this, uh, this unit out of. Something that I've measured and marked and cut earlier off camera to save a bit of time. Now I've stacked it there, hopefully in an organised way which I can hopefully remember. Um, if not, I suppose we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, it'll be alright, I'm sure, I'm sure. Um, interesting point. Is when you're actually doing your measuring, you're marking out, I find using a blade, blade edge stays true, no matter how many times you use it. Obviously, unless you break it, then it doesn't. Where a pencil mark, where you obviously keep, just keep scribing a couple of times, the pencil mark itself will actually get wider and therefore may change your actual where you actually want the markings to be. Where you're using a blade, nice and carefully down the edge, spot on every time. Trust me, it works. So, I suppose, get on with it, spin! Oh, oh. That's my version of a Tasmanian devil, hopefully, constructed. Sorry.
As you can see, stage one is now completed. Stage two will be a sunken ceiling. If you don't know what a sunken ceiling is, I suggest you stay tuned, like, subscribe, pass this video to all your friends, it will be great for me. Uh, but click uh, the icon that will pop up to take you on to the next video. And I'll see you then.